Hello people, welcome uh, to a new video. This is something I've been waiting for a long time, almost one year. Uh, that's the time IK took in cooking this distribution called Serpent OS. It was released on 1st of August, today is 3rd and uh, it is an alpha release. Um, not supposed to be used on production machines, so I'm going to use VirtualBox uh, to have a sneak peek. Uh, currently, I've downloaded the ISO file. The size here is uh, one gigabyte. Pretty decent. Sounds really, really um, lean. So let's get into it. I'm going to set up the virtual machine first, and uh, then, of course, Linux. These are like pretty standard steps that everybody can do. Next, then. Give it like something. This is enough, I think. Make it a good figure 10 to 40. Then processors, I think. Let's do six maybe. And I read somewhere that Serpent OS will not be supporting legacy boot. So we must have UEFI, which means we need to have a modern machine or at least a BIOS that supports EFI or UF UEFI boots. I'm not sure really it's correct or not, but I remember reading it somewhere. Now, which will do some fine with default 20 gigs, make it like a big bit, bit bigger. Um, 20 is enough, by the way, right? So, yeah, keep it that way. And looks right, it did not. What is that? USB, fine. Okay, thank you. Goodbye. So, it don't, did not ask me for. Um, GPU. It's been a while, frankly, since I switched to um, Windows just to get my hands on Power BI and Power Automate and Python. I don't really remember. So display Y16 score max. KVM is good one, by the way. It gives you a whole lot of um, functions or like switches. Uh, one is fine. Enable 3D, I suppose that's what I'm looking for. But can use my GPU instead of Intel. I think let's let's go for it. Running tada I think it's running. In the meantime, let me see if I can all right so looks like gnome stuff what is that oh these are like desktops okay mm. so first of all let's do system information they have about okay oops no so in about we have got serpent and whatnot system details we've got hardware then software so this yeah so this is gnome mm, okay so of course i mean i will not be diving in, into this gnome 45 you can find a whole lot of reviews on youtube let's keep it restricted to um serpent itself so uh dark style theme how does it look does it change anything mm, okay so things are like dark now and um, there's no like there's no question to ask me if I want to install. It's just like a live environment. There's no there's no install. There's no setup. Okay, so let's find if I can quickly how to let's see um serpent where's setup installer. All right, so this dude is I don't know doing something. Let's see. It's close to having a system installer. Seems um, is without installation, right? So what this guy is talking about? Oh God, looking good, Ike. Okay, yeah, I know, Ike. It means it's good. Uh, later, I think let's keep it for later. 
So there was this discussion. Why didn't project bandwidth? It's an old, old post, so it's not going to be helpful. So getting installable blockers. You need to define MVP. Um, It seems there's no solo right now. It's without it. If I'm wrong, it's something else. Um, now let's see. As I always say, for me, Linux is Linux. It's whether Gen2, Arch, Void, Ubuntu, Lubuntu, whatever Ubuntu is, is, is a Linux distribution, right? It doesn't, it doesn't matter which one you're using. What matters is two things, in my opinion. Number or three things. Number one, the community. If the community is supportive, vibrant, not toxic then it's a great distribution then comes in documentation which of course serpent will take some time to develop and the third thing is the package manager these three things in my opinion make a distribution a distribution um, i don't want to name but one distribution has a great package manager but the but a toxic community uh, other is like a great package manager but documentation is kind of in between somewhere community is also here and there uh, but anyway, so uh, let's let's try, try here. So the I know they they call it uh, Moss. How can I switch full time to? Is there a way? Um, for the screen mode, yeah. So it's host fi. I don't know which one is host. Host is like right control. Okay. Uh, okay. So I don't have the uh, VM guest installed, so it might not be for a screen but anyways so uh moss all right so moss is the package manager and uh, uh, we have these like commands select or extract index info inspect um so let's see man moss what happened oops seems like halted What happened? Okay, so it was for some reason uh, unresponsive. Um, so um, man, moss, moss help. There's the help actually. I just saw above, right? So now, for example, I want to see um, uh, what does it mean inspect. Um, error the following command requires arguments which were not provided path uh, okay doesn't help so moss search uh, of course I mean I need to give a keyword so anyway so um, let's say let's try updating the system so what we will do we will do if I go back to void and arch philosophies I think I need to sync the repositories so that should be the first step and then what okay so let's try some more sync no i think sync should be to merge the changes no that's the wrong one so i think i need to go for something called repo re uh, manage software repositories okay so moss repo uh -huh, that's a good one so uh, requires a sub command but one was not provided okay so that's is it none or one anyways so the options I have are add I don't understand what is the AR list remove update I think that's what I'm looking for I need to update my repositories first so most uh, most uh, repo update uh, something is wrong Permission denied. Okay, so here it goes. Um, Defresh. Okay, so now let's do moss sync. I think. Yeah. So yeah, the same is like arch and void stuff. Typical gentle. I mean, so now these are the packages that I must install or update. Uh, basically, update. Sorry. Now in Arch Linux, I remember if you uh, skip one update, so basically you you refresh your repositories and then you skip the update and then you again refresh your repositories, let's say after a week or so, where uh, new versions are available and you cancel the previous update. So I uh, I remember it, it causes uh, uh, something we used to call dependent, uh, dependency hell. 
Oh, let's see how it works here. I mean, of course, I am canceling it right now. I canceled it. But then what? I mean, okay, so I don't have the new versions right now. But anyways, I'm, let me still do it. And it should go smoothly. Mm, pretty lame, actually. I need to wait a few days, maybe. Oops, what happened? Permission denied. Okay. yes so it's going blazing fast oh I, I should have tried something actually i remember um in uh, back in the days uh, we used to have uh, this competition of having leanest and the meanest machine so new window maybe so uh, um it was something here okay let's install right so uh moss install I'm supposed to give a name. No, I, I'm. I'm. I'm okay in the list. Maybe I am supposed to look for list. So I need to see the the packages installed. So I would do moss list. But then it is expecting something. Uh, something is supposed to uh, be provided here, and I can see. I should see provide this argument. Um, call installed. So moss list installed. Makes sense that's pretty pretty neat you don't have to be a nerd to use this package manager i'm already liking it so that's the entire list of the packages i suppose this is my guesstimate um the the gray numbers or gray text here is our uh, are the libraries that are installed um implicitly as a package of like white package which is like explicit, explicitly installed and then they install all a whole lot of dependent dependencies so they are gray um, I remember back in the days we used to have this competition of having lowest, uh, leanest, meanest system. So we would do something like pipe WCL1. I hope I'm getting it right. Yes, yeah, so 294 packages, man. That's extremely lean. I'm loving it. So it seems we have uh, they are shipping current ISO with the with the bare minimum, which is a like a browser and a terminal, and that's it. So you can build your system your way. It's a good thing they have done the configuration for GNOME, so you don't have to waste your life setting up those tiny, tiny things. So, but it's like quite fast. I don't have the guest uh, VM add-ons installed. It's still fast, uh, you can see. So, um, yeah, good one. 9294 is good. The ISO file is like one gig, so quite decent. Now, I did my update. It happened. What happened here? No space left. So why I have 20 gigs? So it would not take whole, whole like 20 gigs. Um, how to check that? LS block. Oh, I think it's running from the ISO. So that's why. So it's not really installed. I get it. I get it. So it was LS block, right? Hmm. Yeah. So this is a live environment. That's that's why maybe. So anyways, guys, I think uh, it's a good start. Uh, Moss is like sounding quite decent package manager. Uh, very lean, lightweight, and uh, let me explore it for, for a while uh, before, I mean, I don't want to keep this video long, so let me explore it, and if I find something useful, unique, definitely I'll come back, but I can tell you right now, off the, off the bat, that this package manager is sleek, it's sounding so cool, have a good day, and see you soon, bye.